Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling, the next in my Fluency Fundamentals class, which is a vocabulary class at the A1 level, that means pre-intermediate. Of course, higher level people are welcome to come to class. And in fact, in today's class, we should be going beyond the basics anyway. In this lesson, we're going to work on uh, the basic to intermediate vocabulary for newspapers. We'll learn how to talk about types of papers, the section of the newspaper, the people who work there, as well as how to refer to what was reported. And you are going to report on some unbelievable news, or at least try to get your editor to approve your story. All of that coming up in just a minute. Before we begin, while we're waiting for everyone to come in, just a quick introduction. My name is John Eric. I'm your Verbling teacher for this hour. I'm an American teacher from New York, coming at you from Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. Uh, by the way, if you click on that link in the chat window, John Eric Verbling teacher, you'll go to my profile page where you can click on follow and you'll see all my upcoming group classes so you can see what's coming up for the rest of the week. You can also schedule a private tutoring class where I'll work with you on a customized learning plan to help you meet your needs as fast as possible. Just send me a message before you booked, before you book a class uh, because I'm a little bit full at the moment, okay? And I want to make sure that there's time for you. So send me a message and we'll get started. So let's get started with today's class. I'm going to open the material for you, share it, and we've got lots to talk about. Uh, let's see. This is going to take a minute to load. So while we're loading, let's say a welcome back to Mr. Jair. How are you, Jair? Long time no see. <laughs> yes, a few minutes. Uh, I, I am quite well. Thanks, Eric. What about you? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm all right since the last time you saw me. Nothing's changed. Hanging in there, okay. you know. <laughs> Welcome back, Vincenzo. Nice to see you again. Uh oh, do you hear me, Vincenzo? Hello, hello? Yes, yes, I hear uh -huh. you. Okay, good. Hello? Your connection's working. Good. Nice to have you back. Rafael, nice to see yeah. you again. Are you there, Rafael? Just so I know your connection's working. Yeah? Yeah. Could you okay. understand me? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Okay. And Ms. Yulia. How are you, Yulia? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What about you? I'm all right. So yesterday, you got kicked out of the class. Is that right? Yes. I was thrown from your class. I don't know why. And so hmm. I'm just listening to That's all. I can't connect again. And, and when you got thrown out? Did you try to re-enter? Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. Did you Maybe. try to re? Did you try to restart your browser? Yes, of course, because I don't know why. Maybe it's something wrong with internet connection. Mm. Yeah. I have. Maybe I haven't had enough power <laughs> to join your class. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know either. Hmm. Yesterday, a lot of people had trouble. Actually, not just you, Jaya. Okay. I think you. Monday, you had problems as well. So, I don't know. And another student also had problems, so I don't know what was happening yesterday. Uh, let's say a welcome back to Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Better, Rebecca. Rebecca, you're going to learn about newspapers today. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, yes. Always. <laughs> Very good. Always. And, and Natasha, nice to have you back as well. Great to see you. Can you hear me, Natasha? Hello, Natasha? Hello, hello. Mm, Natasha, when you get your mic on, just say hello, because I can't hear you. And I see Genetica Intelligen, which must be Tanya. Yes, it's me. Okay. <laughs> wow. Are you are you are you in a different account? Why it's a, why come it no, I, I don't know what I don't know what I I did here. Maybe I needed to to enter again. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, you're you're here. 
Uh, let's get started, everyone. Take a look at this. I've actually got some kind of advanced vocabulary in this lesson. So it might be a little difficult, but we'll see. We'll see. Newspapers. We're going to spend about 10 to 15 minutes learning, about 15 minutes or so applying what we learn. And in the last 15 minutes, we're going to try to do a little activity where you speak and use everything you've learned. You're going to be trying to convince the head of the newspaper to run your story in the, in the very end. Okay? So, and then if we have time, which we never do, we're going to do a little reflection and make sure that what you learned is really clear. So I'll, I'll maybe quiz you a little bit, if we have time. Let's get started. Take a look at this. I want you to match the opposite words according to the theme. So these words are related, but maybe not in an obvious way. Some of those words are particular newspapers, famous newspapers. So if you're matching up a newspaper, you have to match it up according to what it's known for. Okay. Does anyone feel brave and want to give it a try? Yeah. Try the, try one of those words. Go in any order you like. So pick a colored word and match it up with a transparent word. And let yeah, it tell I, me. Can I try it? Go for it. Yeah. Go for yeah. it. Uh, hmm. Magazines. Uh, daily. Magazines and daily. Okay. Why do you think they go together, Vincenzo? Give us a reason. <laughs> yes. Because. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Maybe. Because we have newspapers, they are sold uh, daily. <laughs> newspapers are sold daily. Yeah, I agree. And are magazines sold daily? Yes, ma I don't understand. I don't know exactly if a magazine can be sold at the same time weekly. You know, <laughs> mm, that's the thing. Is it daily or not? Hmm. I, I, I think it daily is better. Okay. Okay. But newspapers are surely sold daily, aren't they? You agree? Yes. Yeah. I it's guess newspapers. Yes. Yeah. It's so it's better. It's better newspaper. <laughs> it's better. Okay. Yeah. So we'll put newspapers and daily for number uh, one, because yeah. there's there's no doubt about it. So Can newspapers, go for it. Yeah. I think magazines is for tabloid because hmm. it, interesting. You know, Why? No, why? Because I know that tabloid has a lot of pictures and uh, less um, to the text. Mm -hmm. And I think magazines is the same one. A lot of pictures and just a little bit text under these pictures. I agree with you 50%. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely agree with you about the pictures. About tabloids have lots of pictures. You're absolutely right. In fact, they're called tabloid for a reason. It has to do with the size of the page. Uh, let me ask the group. Do you think there's a... I think there's a better match between magazines. I wouldn't match it with... Ma tabloid. Magazine is, we is weekly, John? No, we used... We used... Oh, no, no, we didn't use it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yep. You got it. The no, best match is weekly. probably weekly. Could be weekly, it could be monthly, but it's not daily. Weekly or monthly? Okay. Yeah. Daily never. Yeah, because the the, the articles are too long. Mm -hmm. But you but Yulia has a point. Tabloids have a lot of pictures. Okay. Mm -hmm. The main thing about tabloid is the size of the page. That's a big clue. So you've got the word tabloid there, class. What would you match with tabloid? Uh, the sun. The sun. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, have you been to the UK? Have you ever read the sun? No, I have been uh, following the story story mm -hmm. that right. happened in the in Eng England about the the sun tabloid. The mm -hmm. uh, how can I say there is a a word that they called a funny record something like that about the Phone uh, records about the, yeah. the, the the tapping the phone tapping scandal. Is yes, that what yes, you mean? because yes, because they got information, but not uh, legally. 
Right, and it wasn't just anyone who got the information, right? It was, uh, it was, it was the newspaper, and it was information about who, who was it? What it was information about? Do you remember who it was? Now I forgot. Uh, uh, information about uh, many famous people or about uh, politicians. Yeah, yeah, it was about David Cameron, wasn't it? Part of it, or something like that. And, yes. And, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was involved in this uh, problem as well because people get inf got, got information from him. But oh, he, he was passing he, information he, just to other people. Yeah. Ah. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think he, yes, I think he, he had a friendship or relationship with someone of the, the son, and people try to relate to him with the with the problem as well, but not uh, he he was not uh, blame guilty. I think. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. Someone lost their job. I remember that. Okay, very good. And I agree with you, except there's a better match for tabloid. I agree with you about the sun, but there's an actual better match for tabloid, and there's a better match for the sun. Da daily, maybe. We use daily. Newspapers, yeah. daily. Magazines, weekly. Okay. There's a better match for tabloid. There's one, there's no question about it. Class, not the sun. Which one of those is clearly a tabloid? No question about it. The mirror? The mirror. The mirror. <laughs> the, mirror. the mirror is a tabloid. And there's also a reason for that. Think about the size of the mirror. If, you, if you've been in the UK, have you ever picked up a mirror when you were in the UK, Rebecca? Have you ever picked up physically? Have no. you ever bought one? No, 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 no. Never. Well, I... what, well, what you'll notice is that they're smaller. So a tabloid is usually smaller with lots of pictures and not so much text. So think about a tabloid that you have in your country as well. Think about a tabloid in Spain. And maybe we can make a comparison. Okay? So, if the mirror is a tabloid, what about the Times? What about the Times? Broadsheet. Broadsheet. Very good. And why do you think we call it a broadsheet? You're absolutely right. Do you know why? Because it has um, uh, a serious, um, serious um, newspaper, you know. And there's another serious? reason. Can I use this? Yeah, yeah. Serious is good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. But there's another um, reason too. If it's serious, it's are the articles long or short? And that's the key. Yeah, long, long articles. Long articles. Therefore, it's a broad sheet because broad means big. A big sheet of paper is a broad sheet. And that gives you the idea that it's serious because the articles are longer and therefore more in depth. That's the idea. So tabloids are smaller with pictures. Broad sheets are bigger with more text. Okay? And let's go back to the sun. So there's only one choice left. Sun matches with the last one, the one who left. The one left. Circulation. Circulation. So I forgot who was talking about the sun. It was Jair, right? Yes, sure. So why do you think circulation is the best match for the sun? Uh. What what is it about the sun circulation which makes it unique? Or special because it's the bigger circulation. The biggest. Yep. The largest. The, the, I mean, the, the 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 number of issues is um, every week or every I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's the largest circulated newspaper uh, anywhere. I think it has the biggest readership. Readership. It has the biggest readership of any newspaper, possibly anywhere. That's it. So you've got broadsheets, tabloids, 
a weekly publication, daily publication for magazines and the newspapers, and then we talk about the circulation of a newspaper. Broadsheet, okay. okay. Take, opposite, broadsheet, opposite, uh, tabloid, okay. It's right. The opposite of broadsheet would be a tabloid. And I've given you the answers on the next page if you want to summarize later. This is slide four. Eric, yeah, just just a quick uh, information. Yeah. The Go sun for it. Is, yes, the sun is not circulation circulated anymore. I it think was. The, <laughs> I think the last the last uh, the last uh, the last uh, circulation was in in 2012. At the time when this material was created, <laughs> it was still in circulation. I have yes. to change. I have to change my slides. Uh, okay. But anyway, that's what it was famous for. That's what it was famous for. Now let's take a look at the parts of a newspaper. What sections do most newspapers have? I'm giving you a clue on the page. You tell me the section of the newspaper. Okay. So these are not obvious, but they should help you to narrow it down. Okay, so let's see. Natasha, pick one and guess the name of the section. Let's go around the room. Anyone you like. Uh, okay, okay, I see. It's about newspapers, yes? About the sections of the newspaper. When you open okay. up the newspaper, you've got different parts. Oh, okay. It's uh, maybe TV and radio by hour. Mm -hmm. So what do we call that? What's the name of that section? Uh, the, uh, in this uh, section, uh, as a rule, uh, people... What is, what's the name? What's, what do we call it? I want you to guess the English name for that section of the newspaper uh, first. Uh, what do you think we can call it? Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, oh. I, I, I don't know. Class, help her out. Make a guess, class. Because first I want to work on the keywords. Anyone know? Where are they? The keywords are here, no? No, no. These are just ideas to help you know, to help you identify the section. I want to know okay. what do we actually Ooh. call that section. Okay, to be honest, you by uh, what could be gossip session? Gossip, okay, that's one idea. I don't know if I agree, <laughs> but it could be. Maybe programs, schedule of programs, no? Okay, I think so. So you're saying program schedules, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. I'll put a little question mark because there might be a better way to say it, but you're on the right track. Well, I'll go over all the answers in just one minute. Okay, let me get some people who haven't spoken here. Nesreen, pick another one. So we did radio and TV by hour. Pick another category. See if you can guess the name of the section. Uh, newspaper sex section most. Uh, mm. National, national, uh, okay. national, uh, sorry. So what would we call that part of the national relates to maybe the kind of news? What news, do we call news, that section? yes, yes, news, uh, national news. National it's news. National news and long articles uh, uh, and finance. Mm. All of these are parts of a newspaper. All of them are. Yeah. I just, I just but want to know. Most, but most national. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, most newspapers, there's different kinds, but most of them will have national and international. So we're going to call the national part national news. Later, we'll see if that's the best way to describe it. All right. Okay. Local Time. news. Or local news. Good. Let's do that as well. Give me just a second here. So we're going to put national news. We're going to put local news. Okay. Tanya, pick another colored hint. Tell me if you tell me if you can name that section of the newspaper. 
If you're not sure, I will assign one. I will assign one to you. Forecasts. Good. Uh, Forecasts. What section? Forecasts. I don't know, teacher. Oh my god. No problem. Help her out, class. What section of the newspaper has forecasts? For weather. The weather. We the weather. I, I thought that, but I, I... Okay, good. The weather. There are also economic forecasts, but economic forecasts would probably go also with the finance section. Culture, cultural, culture, cultural news. Cultural news. Which one yeah. does that connect Theater, with? Theater, cinema... Maybe. Which one does that connect with, Nazarene? Sorry? Which of those keywords would you connect with cultural news? Yeah. Um, Which is the best match? Uh, match? No match. Uh, match, no. Maybe cinema, maybe theater, maybe uh, theater activity, uh, cinema activity. Hmm. Maybe well, there is, there is a ma yeah, yeah, there is a match though. Class, help her out. All those things that Nezreen mentioned, do you see a keyword on this page which could match with those? Oh, maybe. I do. It could be long articles. Long articles. Or? <laughs> or critics. Or critics, exactly. We would expect critics to be in that section. So she said the culture section, which is good. And we're going to put critics. I agree with you, Vincenzo. Critics is a good match for something you'd expect to find in the culture section. Excellent. All right, very good. Yulia, what about finance? What section of the newspaper would we read about finance? It's like business and finance. Right. So let's call that the business section. Yes, the business section. Yeah. Okay, very good. Ooh. What lovely music. Ooh, fantastic. I feel like doing the tango. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Who is that? <laughs> Who's Vincenzo? Vincenzo is doing the tango. Uh, now, let's go to... I don't know if we got all of these. Uh, long articles. We didn't really do long articles. Raphael, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Which part Which of the paper has, has long, long articles? articles? There's a special section which has more in-depth articles than the rest of the paper. Can you Can guess, you guess the the of that mm -hmm. section? At the beginning of the newspaper, there is uh, sections that the editor publishes every day. Um, right. I don't know the, the name in English. Perhaps, um, I don't know the name. The section where the editor does what exactly? At the beginning of the newspaper, always you can find um, a kind of opinion article, ah, an article okay. about what is happening. Um, sometimes it's made by the editor of the, of the newspaper. Absolutely. Absolutely. We call, we that, call that the op-ed section. The op-ed section, which stands for op is opinion, ed is editorial. The opinion editorial section. Long articles, absolutely. Well, longer articles could be found there. I agree. In fact, there's, a, there's a something else I'm thinking of, but that's not a bad match. Okay. Very good, very good. Now, the only one we're missing here, I believe, is professional and college something. Bef before, before I talk about uh, college magazines, could be. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good guess. Good guess. <laughs> if I tell you the missing word, you're going to get it immediately. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Reviews. Not reviews. In American newspapers, we have a section on both professional and amateur sports. So, professional in college, I wanted to see if you could guess. 
because like college football is just as popular as professional football. So maybe you wouldn't see this in an English newspaper, but in an American newspaper for sure. So we're talking about the sports section, probably. So take a look. Here are the real answers, and notice that some of the terms are different. For national news, we call that home news. Not local news, Yulia, because local news is like your town. Mm -hmm. and, it, and if you have a town newspaper, sure. Mm -hmm. But if it's a big newspaper or a broadsheet, it won't, have, it won't really have local news. In fact, sometimes newspapers are criticized by, because they ignore the local news. New York Times is famous for being criticized for ignoring New York City, even though it's the New York City paper. So, home news, international news, we call that the foreign news section, the foreign section. Sometimes it'll say other things, current affairs or whatever, foreign affairs, current affairs. Economy, finance, and more, business. Professional college, sports. Long articles, okay? Op-eds is not a bad guess, but we call that the features section. The features section will have more in-depth reporting and longer articles. The features. If you're a feature reporter, you are special. TV and radio. We'll call that the program guide or the TV guide or programming, something like that. Program guide. Forecasts, the weather section. Critics, like film critics and music critics, arts and entertainment, or culture. It can be called either. Sometimes they call it arts and entertainment, sometimes they call it the culture section. Okay, so far so good. Who are these people in a newspaper? Jose, what does the editor do? If you can, you can match it up with the picture on the right side, with the, the word on the right. The, the editor write, uh, write down an article uh, on the newspaper, no? No, he doesn't. <laughs> no? Good guess. Good guess. Not the editor. Uh, it's not the editor. <laughs> okay. Not the editor. Not the editor. The columnist. Sorry. Uh, yes and no. The columnist is much more specific than that. Raphael, you talked about the editor earlier. Can you match, match up, up the editor, editor with one of those keywords words. on the right? Up, up, it. Could be. Okay. There's a better, better match. match. Hmm. Head of. Good. Head of what? Mm, the head of mm, the head of the newspaper, the head of the department, and if no, I don't know. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. it. That's it. Could be the head of the newspaper, and then he would, he or she would be the chief editor, or it could be the head of the department, like the uh, whatever the features articles, or head of the of the foreign correspondence or head of the local news or whatever. Sure. So every place has a desk with an editor. A desk, so like the foreign, the foreign desk would have its own editor. I'm sorry, my teacher. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, I don't understand. Op-ed. 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 What op-ed? Mm -hmm. Op-ed. Op-ed means op for opinion and ed for editorial, which is a personal uh, personal opinion article. An editorial is a personal opinion article. So take a look in the chat window. Op opinion ed editorial. Now. Who writes an op-ed? Look on the left. Who writes an op-ed? Corner post, maybe. What, say again, please. Corner post, maybe corner post. Corner post. Which word are you saying? Sorry, the first, second, third, or fourth? Corner post. 
that's not a choice on the right side. Look on the right side of the screen. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's one of those. On the, on the, on the, oh, I'm sorry, not, not the right, the left side. I'm sorry. Look at the left side. One of those people writes op-eds. One of those people. Class, who do you think? Who, who, who are you asking for? You. <laughs> you, Rebecca. No, which, which word? Sorry. I'm oh, we're matching up op-ed. Sorry, we're matching up op-ed now. Op-ed is a um, columnist. Columnist. Very good. Very good. So, just to recap, the, the earlier one, the head of a desk in a newspaper. We, ma we matched up with the editor, right? Editor. I'll put that in the chat window. And you matched up op-ed, Rebecca, with columnist. And you were right. A columnist is a regular opinion writer. Very good, very good. What can we say about the correspondent? It's freelance. Yeah. Well, hang on a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Is the correspondent the freelancer or is the reporter the freelancer? Just out of curiosity. Mm, correspondent freelance. Mm. Is, is a person who writes uh, letters to a person or a newspaper, no? Letters or articles. And, articles. Right? So the correspondent is responsible for articles. Now, the reporter is also responsible for articles, but there's a difference. A it's like a journalist, yes? They're, they're both journalists, but uh -huh. one of them might not have a job tomorrow. <laughs> one is a more, maybe a slightly more general term. So I'm going to put freelance with a reporter. Yeah, that's it, Cecile. Reporters are freelancers. They come and they go. They work for many newspapers. A correspondent is probably working for one newspaper is someone more important, and his or her name is associated with that newspaper or that media outlet. So, for example, I don't know, um, you know, when you have uh, certain famous people in the news and they're always seen, and they're always going to certain locations. Paul Mason is the correspondent for Greece. All the turmoil with the Greek, Greek economy is covered by Paul Mason on the nightly news, for example. So, Cecile, you got it right. Correspondents are employees. Reporters tend to be freelancers. That means they're paid by the article. And correspondents have a salary. All right. We've got lots of vocabulary so far. But now I'm going to give you, I'm going to blow your mind. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> A lot of words. <laughs> what makes these words sound better? There are certain key words that are always used in newspapers. And you know what? I can't even give you a logical reason for this. I can kind of give you a reason. But let me ask you. Let's just read down the list and... And uh, if there's a word you don't know, let's try to create an example together. Okay? I'll read the meaning. You shout out the word so I can hear your pronunciation. And if there's any word that confuses you, let's come up with an example together. Another way to say help is? Class? Aid. 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 Another way Aid. to say cut, cut out, remove? Axe. Axe. Good. Another way to say support. Support. Another way to say support. Back. 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 Good. Back. To exclude, to forbid. Bar. To, to bar. Good. Bar. To attempt something. Bid. 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 Good. Explosion. Expl blast. A blast. blast. Now, Let's stop there for a second. <laughs> Let's stop there. Why do these words sound better 
than the meaty words? Why do they sound better? What makes them more useful in a newspaper article? What do you think? Maybe because they're yeah, short. short. Shorter than the original word. They're shorter? And Yulia, what were you saying? I, I said the same. Ah, okay. Then you are right. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. Is, is the same now, John? They, they mean the same? They mean nearly the same, but uh, for me, so, some better newspaper word, no? Why? <laughs> That's a question. Be, be, wow. Because uh, the, these these words are related with the uh, with the uh, with the newspaper, no? Not because they're related, but because a they're shorter. Yes, these words are shorter. B, they're more visual or they're more action related. <laughs> more action related, okay. Yeah, because you can picture an axe. I don't know how to say axe in Spanish. How do you say axe in Spanish? Axe. You say axe in Spanish? Is it the same word? No, no. Uh, axe, I don't know the meaning in English. Uh, axe. What, uh, what are you asking for? How do you say the word? Axe is good. Cortar, no? Not cortar. What's the name of the object you use? Acha, 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 acha. Acha. Yeah. So, everyone, picture that thing. That, that cuts wood, that acha or machado or whatever you call it in your language, and it's so much easier to visualize if you picture an object. So we replace uh, an abstract word like axe with a real word, concrete word. It's easier to remind the, the word. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's more visual, it's more immediate, it's more tangible, it's more concrete. That's an axe. But give me an example of a sentence with uh, using this <laughs> word. You know, I have a mess right now on my, in my mind. Rebecca, I want yeah. you to give me an example. <laughs> Please. Okay, me? now mm -hmm. I want you to give me an example. You know it means cut or remove. So I want you to invent a sentence where you substitute cut for axe. Make it something like you'd read in a newspaper, international news, about politicians or about a big company. <clears throat> Think about someone who was removed from office. Uh, well, right now in Spain, I right. don't know if you know, uh, last weekend has uh, been the election, so some politicians are moved from the, uh, their uh, desk, could I say that? Yeah, now don't say moved, but say it with acts, and you got it, use it as a so verb. Some, some politicians are acts from him. Okay. Good. Some politicians were axed from their jobs. Some politicians were axed from their desks. It sounds a lot more uh, violent, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a lot more... Um, uh, how is the word when you say something to... Say, uh, like a picture, you know? You can see the yeah, picture. More, more visual. Yeah, absolutely. You can picture visual, it. Yeah, visual. Very good, very good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to create a sentence, class, the way Rebecca just did. Okay? I'm going to say a meaning word. You give me a sentence. You're going to have to make a guess. Use your imagination. There's no right or wrong. But you make a sentence, something that you might read in a newspaper. Okay? Let's give it a try. Tanya. Yes? Mystery. Think about news related, for example, to your job. Think about if you were reading a newspaper about about genetics or about vaccines or about something like that. Mm. Let me see. Maybe genetic test could add people with uh, uh, uh oh cancer 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 predisposition. Sorry, please repeat, Tanya. Say again. Um, genetic test 
uh, uh, could Remember, add... The, the key word is mystery, You're replacing mystery ah. with riddle. Ah, mystery! Oh my god, sorry. I, I, I thought that I needed to choose some word. I choose add. Um, okay, let me see here. I'll tell you what, let me give out a few of these to give you some more time to think. Okay. Okay, Yulia, your word is going to be promise. You need to replace promise with pledge. Okay, so that's you. Uh, let's see. How about uh, Raphael? I'm going to give you the word uh, request. So you're going to have to replace request with the word plea. Okay, okay. And you're going to try to create a kind of a newspaper headline if you can. And then I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Okay. Take a minute. Take a minute. Think about it. Uh, let's see. How about Jose? You're going to work with discussions. You're going to, have to replace Is discussions with talks. So you got to think of a situation where it fits. Okay. Uh, who else? Uh, Nesri. Let's talk about, um, how about dispute? I'm going to give you dispute, okay, Nesri, and you're going to replace dispute with the word clash in a situation that you think of, okay, and did I miss anyone? Maybe Vincenzo. Vincenzo, I'm going to give you danger, you're going to have to replace that with threat in a situation that comes to mind. Okay, everyone think about it for a minute. I hope I got all of you. We're back to you, Tanya. Okay. So, I, as you asked me, I thought something in my area, genetic. Go for so, it. So, uh, some, some, genes, some genes is a handle, handle of the science. Because we, we don't know... Uh, uh, their uh, function, function yet. Okay, very good. The, the key word was riddle, right? Yeah, riddle, riddle, yes. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, but that's good. That's a good, it's a very good example. Some genes are a riddle to science because even today we don't know, instead of function, Tanya, we're going to say what they do. Okay. Because function sounds very Portuguese to me. Okay. There's your sentence. Read it back to me. Uh, some genes are... Uh, how can I say? Handle. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen. R riddle. Riddle. Riddle, yes. Okay. Some genes are a riddle to science because even today we don't know what they do. Excellent. Excellent. That is a perfect sentence. Riddle is somehow more immediate, easier to understand than mystery. Riddle. Okay. Sounds good. Excellent. Okay, the next up was Yulia with promise. Um. In replacing promise for pledge, can you think of a situation which fits? Promise. You can use it as a noun, you can use it as a verb, it's up to you. Uh, I need to, to use the uh, word premise or the pledge. Oh, no, no. The meaning is promise, uh -huh. and the word you're using is pledge. Uh-huh. Pledge. Um, I, hate, uh, I hate when people broke their pledge. You hate when people what? Broke, broke their break. pledge. Break, break, yes. Break their pledge. Break their pledges. It's pledge. got to be plural. Uh-huh, uh -huh. okay, okay. Okay, it's a good, it's a very good sentence for the meaning of the word uh, pledge, Yulia. But mm -hmm. it doesn't sound like something I would read in a newspaper unless it's in the op-eds because it starts with I. Who, who pledges something in a public way? Who pledges something, Yulia? Uh, politics. Exactly. So talk about a politician, and it'll be even better. Um, is there a politician that broke his or her pledge? Of course. 
<laughs> All politicians. Exactly. So name one. <laughs> Uh, uh, name one. Well, you don't have to name names, but that's the, that's a context where pledge uh, would sound really good. Ex president of Ukraine broke his pledge to people. Ex the ex the ex president. Uh, no, the the Ukrainian. The U ex president. Ukrainian ex president broke. broke page about uh, salaries for teachers. <laughs> okay. Wow. Of all the pledges you could break, that's not the one I was expecting you to say. Uh, Ukrainian. Wow. You. Oh, I'm spelling it wrong. That's why. Ukrainian ex-presidents. I guess I need a hyphen there. You, why does it not let me spell Ukrainian for some reason? Okay, I think I spelled this right. There it is, Yulia. Broke pledges about the salaries. Oops, I forgot to write two teachers. Sorry, I forgot the ending. Oh. <laughs> Very good. We expect politicians to pledge. So that's a better sentence than I. Very good, very good. The next stop after Yulia was Raphael. The meeting was request... But the word was plea. Raphael. Can you give me a newspaper, yeah, newspaper headline, headline with, with plea? plea? He made a dramatic plea, a dramatic plea for be considered no guilty. Fantastic. He made a dramatic plea to not be seen as guilty. Trying to not be considered guilty. Not considered, but seen. See? Yeah, look at yeah, the, the chat window. window. Yeah. Not to be seen. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's an excellent sentence. Uh, did I write it? Was it? Oh, yes, there. He made a dramatic plea to not be seen as guilty. Or to be seen as innocent. That's another way to say it. All right, very good. After Raphael, we had Jose with discussions. You need to re substitute discussions with talks. Who is in talks? <laughs> Jose. Think about a newspaper headline. What do you think, Jose? Jose! 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 Jose, your microphone is not on. You're out getting a beer. So, <laughs> next up is Nezreen. Now, the meaning is dispute, but you're going to create a little newspaper headline where you substitute. Oh, Jose, are you back? Yeah, yeah yes, I'm ah, here. Ah, okay, we missed Discussion. you. Discussion. Uh, yes. Greece, uh, uh, every Greece and the European Union our uh, discussion every day. Oh, oh, oh you got to replace. You got to replace discussion uh, with yes, uh, Greece work. and the European Union are talking every day uh, uh, in order to solve the the problem of the economy. Very good. Uh, the uh, economic problems. Um, I'm going to change your sentence just a little bit. Yes. Yes. Okay. Give me a second here. Uh, economic, sorry. You, you write a sentence in the proper way. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying my best. Hold on. In the best way. Read it back to me. Take a look. Okay. So read it back to me. Let me hear it. Okay. Greece and the European Union no, no, are no. in... No, no, Read what's written. EU. EU. That's okay. it. Greece and the EU are in talks every day to solve the economic problems. Okay. So notice how we say are in talks, not are talking, uh, are, in, are talks. in talks. Greece and the A newspaper would, are would, would, in talks. That's right. To solve the economic problems. That's right, that's right. So talking sounds casual, but to be in talks means yes. having international important discussions on an international level yes. between governments in talks. It is an, 
Could, could it be a synonym of a conversation? No, but that sounds very casual again. Conversations. They're in conversations. It sounds like they're talking about, you know, hey, did you see Eurovision? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, it sounds okay. too casual. So yeah. it talks me something really official. Okay. Really official. Okay, we're up to Nezreen. Nezreen? Okay. The meaning was dispute, but you okay. have to use the newspaper word for dispute, and your newspaper word was clash. Give us a headline for clash. Clash. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Who or what is clashing out there? Okay. Uh, Think about some kind of international conflict or governmental conflict because that's where you have clashes. Clashes is like a dispute between two different parties. Okay, who's clashing in the news right now, Nesrin? Um, nationality maybe cla uh, clash. Okay. And uh, maybe war, war clash, war is yeah. clash. Okay. And, and so let's create a headline with clash. Okay. Yeah. Where is there a clash happening in the world today? Give me a place. Place, yeah. Syria. Syria, perfect. Yeah. Exactly. Major clash, right? Yes. So. Um, so we could say something like um, the uh, the United Nations, the UN, has tried to stop the clashes in Syria. That might be a sentence you read in the newspaper, Nesreen. Read that back to me so I can hear you say it. Can you see the chat window, Nesreen? Okay, but I don't know. Yeah. The Union has tried to stop the clashes in Syria. Good. UN, which the means... The UN has tried to stop the clashes in, in Syria. Very good. UN means United Nations. Yes, nations. Very good, very good. Okay, and our last one goes to Mr. Vincenzo. Mr. Vincenzo. The meaning is danger, but the newspaper word was, oh, I lost it. What was it? <laughs> I forgot it. Uh, was threat. Yeah, that's what it was. Vincenzo, can you give us a newspaper headline using threat? If you're there. Are you there, Vincenzo? Uh-oh. I don't hear Vincenzo. Class, help him out. Anyone want to try it with threat? Anyone? 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 Going once? Going twice? The threat of a, a, a nuclear war is, uh, is around. Okay, very good. And that's true, <laughs> by the what? way. The threat of a nuclear War is still um, is still a serious one today. In fact, it's even worse today than it was before because the nuclear yeah. the nuclear weapons the arsenal is like forty or fifty years older than it used to be, and the chances of a, of a problem or mistake happening are greater now than they were before because, you know, it's old. They have to keep updating it, and uh, it's a really serious problem. And there's other problems, too, all kinds of problems. Nuclear war, nuclear weapons are bad, right, Rebecca? Bad. <laughs> uh, very bad. Very bad. Okay, very good, very good. So listen, this... These are some great keywords. Now, I've got a few exercises for you to try. Um, maybe what we can do is 
because uh, we're going to run out of time here. Um, on this slide, slide nine, you have to basically just explain what the word means. Uh, if you can, you're going to replace the words with better words. So, for example, quit. Uh, I mean, Ax, still, God, no? Exactly, right, right. So you're going to rewrite these headlines here. This is a simple exercise. On slide 10 and 11, I, I'm going back to those keywords that we just practiced. And it's a lot more difficult. Okay. We don't we don't have time to do this in class, but what I can do is I can give you the answers on the last page so you can test yourself. They're not there now, but I can put them there for you. And see how many of those keywords you can practice on slide nine, ten, and eleven. Okay? Try it on your own. And I'll be happy to answer any questions you have in the chat window. Uh, to finish up class, I want to spend the next two minutes just having a little talk. You can use any of the keywords you've learned to have this talk. How many daily national papers are there in your country? Rebecca, how many in your country? Uh, daily, a lot, because uh, one of the... Um, uh, circulation, a lot of uh, circulation uh, around the, um, the country, but then every, uh, how can I say, Comunidad Autónoma, or even... Uh, every, every, every region, every autonomous region? Yeah, every region, or even uh, a lot of cities uh, have uh, their own uh, newspaper, you know? So, yeah, they're, they're I, local I say paper. a lot. I can't say now exactly how many because there are a lot. So they have their local paper. But I local. can say, for example, uh, of uh, mm, the, mm, the country circulation. How is the this, this expression to say that? You know, the, the main the national the, main, the national the, circulation. The national circulation. The main uh, ones uh, could be three or four. The big okay, ones. So you know, the big, big ones. Yeah. All right. Very good. Tanya, how many tabloids are in your country? Tabloids. Uh, we have many, teacher, because Brazil is huge. <laughs> so we have a lot of tabloids. A lot of tabloids. Yeah. Do you think there's, are there more tabloids in Brazil than other countries? Does Brazil like tabloids? Uh, I can speak uh, thinking about uh, São Paulo states. Right. Uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, many, many tabloids. Um, how can I say the place where we, where we buy a newspaper? It's a bank? How the can bank? I say? The, I, no, no, I, the place, the place where you buy newspaper on the street. That, that's a very good question, by the way. And there's two answers. If it's okay. British English, we say news agents. If it's British English, news agents. Okay. And if it's American English, we would say um, what is the word? A stand. A news stand. In America. Okay, okay. You stand. Okay. I say that because, uh, you know, when I think of the UK, I think of tabloids. When I think of America, I think of major broadsheets. It see, uh, there's there's tabloids in America, but it seems like the UK has a real affinity for tabloids more than the states. It seems that way, uh, because there's or or at least they're 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 really famous in America. The tabloids. Ah, they're there, but I don't know. It seems like they're not quite as... They don't have the same status or something like that. Yulia, uh, are there any quality papers that are also tabloids? What do you think? Mm, I think in my country, 
a lot of uh, it depend it doesn't matter if it will be a tabloid or it will be a newspaper it's just only 20 or 30 percent of truth information so for me it's better to read some news in the internet ah interesting <laughs> yeah. yeah it's true so you think the media is is censored absolutely hmm. by the government yes absolutely ah. It's very big pressure now about the government. So and you're you're in you're in Ukraine, right? Yes, yes. Ah, interesting. Interesting. So if you want to read about what's happening with Crimea, for example, you have to go to the internet to get the the a more uh, less biased opinion. Is that the idea? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, a lot of forums, uh, news in the internet, it will be much better for me than read this uh, fake information in the newspaper because I was in Russia and I heard some news about Ukraine so I came to Ukraine and I heard about strange news about Russia so it's it's like circle it's like a, we say a vicious circle <laughs> yeah yeah a vicious circle uh, both sides are giving misinformation a vicious uh -huh. circle no yeah. matter where you go, you just get another, a, a different kind of lie. Okay. Yes. Very good, very good. Got it. Okay, well, listen, everyone. We've got to stop here, unfortunately. Now, what I want you to do is um, try those exercises on slides 9, 10, and 11, and I will put answers in the last page later today for you to check your answers. Feel free to send me questions if you have any questions about that vocabulary or just talk to me in the next class, okay? Lots of really good words today and if you really want to challenge yourself, you could write a newspaper article going right down that list of newspaper words. It would be a great practice. In fact, we'll definitely have more newspaper classes where I'll give you a chance to do just that in the future, okay? Have a okay. great day, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow at 10 GMT for reading newspapers in our Hot Topics class. I have a very interesting story about ways to change cities and make them sustainable, but the wackiest, strangest ways you could possibly imagine. True ideas, but very unorthodox. And after that, our business class at 11 GMT, uh, where we're going to be doing a business game which will allow you to use some of the language you've been learning over the last couple of classes. Okay? That and more coming up. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.